Nasir, you are our special guest of the hour, the whatever, and for the, of the century, really, because you made waves, right? And why are we here? Because the fans of the Full Power Podcast, they wanted you specifically yet again because Legend hit 10 million views and counting. All right, so that's a big, I got another applause button. Yeah, oh, 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 yeah, see, the crowd's louder for that one. All right, so good stuff to that and good stuff to you, of course. You know, it's been a four year adventure and a journey, you know, just creating that. And we understand that you have a documentary you that you're working on for Legend. Yes, so go ahead, tell, tell us, tell the fans and everyone at home everything about it and, you know, just whatever you want to talk about here because this is you know you, this, this, this is the full power podcast this is your podcast too okay so what, <laughs> t- tell us what's up my man okay so yeah there's a lot going on right now and in relation to that documentary um to give people an idea this 10 minute documentary sort of evolved into a one hour documentary and not Ooh. because i didn't know how to edit footage it's because there's just so much cool stuff to go through right and uh it's good to for people who are hoping to see it that they think about it less like a documentary and more like a yearbook like a four-year book nice Um, and it's just like this is my excuse to be able to show all the other faces involved i want you guys to know them and see like how cool these people are and it's a little less of like an instructional oh this is how you do step one and this is how you do step two and a bit more of like this is what just happened here's everything let me just show it to you in nice order um and i hope like in some small way like there's like any like um just like uh, filmmakers who are like just have ideas they just haven't like kind of jump started and by filmmaker i don't mean like pros i mean like anyone who just they really just want to make something move on camera you know what i mean right. there's any people out there who just think they, they just haven't crossed the 50 percent mark to skyrocket to 100 and say yeah i'm gonna do it i feel like uh i want this to be a little bit of fuel for them nice for um, cause I mean, some people like they were nice enough. They, they, they email me here and there, or like, uh, try to hit me up on like Twitter or Instagram and they say stuff like, and you were one of them when we first linked up is that like in some kind of form, like it helped them do what they're doing, even if it's not art. So like, uh, I can't, I, I can't really rationalize that, but I can rationalize being in a good mood and like wanting to do good stuff. Right. So, oh, oh can we swear on your podcast? Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead. You, you okay, can drop good. the F bombs. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Uh, just check. Um, but uh, but yeah. So, so uh, for anyone looking for the documentary, um, the goal is to finish it before the year's out, and uh, it is kind of like my sign off to legend and just kind of like starting a new chapter. That's not mm. to say that there maybe one day I won't like do some more stuff, and we can we can chop that stuff up a little bit more if you want to. But uh, for this year, this has been a really good year, and that's the way I'm gonna end the year so yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so that's so you heard it here first guys the documentary is on the way it's about to be a freaking movie at like on a whole hour okay <laughs> and i'm looking forward to it I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the anatomy of legend because that's really yeah. what it is right you're just you're going you're going so deep and you're showing all the moving parts and the people that are involved that you know because people 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 like they miss they misconceptualize it like you're not you you're you're the creator you've done a lot of the legwork but you had like your friends that worked yeah. alongside on you know and stray dogs help you out with you know this project and you know if mm-hmm. ever there is a sequel then you want to do it right and you want to bring them on you know as a you know, like a full-time kind of thing right oh hell yeah that'd be yeah. awesome yeah yeah so but you know aside from legend you know you gotta you gotta tell the folks at home because i'm pretty sure i said this on the last episode we did but we we gave a shout out to the new baby pasha yeah man I, my face is hurting i've been smiling so much these days like i really gotta cut it out <laughs> but, um yeah we have a, a baby girl her name is luna laya pasha and uh She's gonna be a badass, dude. Like she's that so is cute. a badass name already. I'm losing already. so much sleep just looking at her. Like I'm, I'm supposed to be sleeping when I can, and I just stare at this kid, like just making like the little noises and shit. <laughs> it's so cute, man. And like you know, I was just mentioning this to you like a little while ago, but for people who are tuning in, like you, uh, it's like a weird CG when you first see this kid. Like 
that version of a face didn't exist in this world and now you're seeing it for the first time it's like it's something uncanny about it and then you're away for even two hours or an hour and then when you come back you're like oh yeah that's mine <laughs> like i can see it again like it's uh it'll take away your miserable morning grog that's for sure oh, uh man. which will which will come back but you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh man dude that's awesome man i'm so happy man we then by the way yeah. this is a this is a fpp exclusive he sent me the picture of the baby all right y'all not gonna see it <laughs> all right but beautiful baby of course all right thank you man of course man and and honestly like i'm sure that you know we were talking a little bit about it before we started recording but um you know like having having like you know that like your child now like you know that they're alive in the world and you're still doing everything that you're doing like that's only gonna make you work harder right like that's like oh, that's just yeah. oh, it's a fire you know what i'm saying that's oh yeah like that, can't, can't get any more anime than that you know um i we you me probably talked about this in passing like uh one reason i didn't burn out on legend is because like it was just my time for it per night or per week was just so scarce so i just had to capitalize on the time that i did have and when you're not at your desk working like you're still working you're on the train waiting you're working in your head you're like you're you're preparing dinner you're helping people out you're working in your head and when you get your table it's just go time like all that all that fuel and ideas it just builds up and then you just you just release all of it into your work for like say 45 minutes or an hour or something yeah and um i feel like this is gonna be that like times 100 this is goku training to get to planet Namek, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah that's a good that's a good callback right there well I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what ends up happening out of uh you know whatever comes next for you obviously and then aside from you know you know being a new dad you're working on this documentary like what else has been going on like what have you been able to do like any any kind of like you know life updates that you want to throw in there before we get into the the BS part of the episode which is talking about Dragon Ball Super <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So before drinking some haterade, I yeah, yeah. Like, life has been. Uh, I'm very grateful. You know, like this has been a very good year. Like, um, my drawings have gotten better. Mm. Legend was finished and presented to everyone who's willing to watch it. Uh, I got to make more art after that. I'm making this documentary. Get I can finally get to show people who don't know my team, all of them. Like I just I want everyone to see them, and. Uh, now I have a family at home and my health has been getting better. I've been training again, like um, things are getting consistent. Consistency is very difficult, especially with training. Like I know what you look like a few years ago. You did not look like what you look like right now. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> you must have a high level of consistency. Yeah, right? Right. So yeah, so that's something that's like, it's always been hard to get it well, like specifically for, for training. So yeah. um, I'm trying to get that in. I have like little secrets. Like now what I'm doing, like I have like routines and like your, your audience can get so bored hearing this, but like when I have to- Nah, 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 it's you, morning, it's you. you. They will listen to <laughs> about anything you want to say. Go ahead. Three minutes to boil and sanitize these bottles. So three minutes, I'll drop and do 50. I'll run downstairs. I'll do a set of bicep curls and set of bench. And then by then the things desanitized, sanitized, not desanitized, I mean it was dirtier. <laughs> and then I would set it up and then I cool it and I deliver it. And I can do this six times a day. So that's better than nothing. It's not right. like going to the gym, but it's definitely better than nothing. So uh, it's keeping my body strong. And that's some level of small consistency that I have right now. So I imagine half a year down the line when things are a lot more in balance, like I can't wait to get back to like the gym. Mm -hmm. So uh, for this year, back to what you were saying, like this, like this, those are kind of like my updates. Like I've just been focusing on like getting all this stuff ready and like maintaining like the good parts of like my health and like my life so that I can just keep doing it. And like, even like with my Patreon, like I wanna, I, I wanna start giving people more of an insight on like my animated stuff. So once this documentary is out by the end of the year, January starts new, like I get to finally learn how to draw, you know? Mm. And that might sound silly, like learning how to draw, but like I can show you the things I know how to draw, but what about all the stuff that I don't know how to draw? I wanna learn how to draw machines and learn how to paint backgrounds and like all this stuff. So oh. uh, I'm gonna use my Patreon as an excuse to fuel me to be able to do all that stuff and like share it that's awesome see my man's out here trying to stay evolving oh <laughs> you gotta love it that's so sick so speaking of your patreon how is that doing by the way like are you have you seen like like a consistent number of like like reoccurring folks or like you getting more or, like how, how's it how's it going on there 
yeah i mean it's, it's been pretty consistent at the number that is at right now and um uh, i really appreciate all those people sticking around because like for the last month i haven't been able to like put up things that i've been working on because the drawing time has been focused on making this documentary and then also all the family stuff so um yeah i i i think like uh whoever was looking for it they found it and maybe people come and go but like i really appreciate people like actually like thinking that's something that they want to see more of like that sort of work and like you know like uh, a lot of it might be just like a result of legend isn't like oh they want to see more of that but i do get like the impression that the things that are not related to that uh, even though i don't post that much non dragon ball stuff at the moment uh i think people like it so mm. i think more of that stuff is going to be coming in no i don't think that's the plan more of that stuff is coming for me and down the line right now so speaking of which right like because i don't know if there's a lot of folks that know this about you but you have your own like mangas out there and you you showed me a few yeah. of them right so i'm just i'm just thinking out, out loud here like would you ever consider like animating those too okay well so <laughs> the plan for my 2024 that's like not related to anything anyone else knows is i'm actually kind of taking one step backwards now uh for people who don't know i have a manga trilogy called two mistakes too many and <laughs> i finished it in 2017 and i always wanted to turn it into a bound hardbound anthology uh with like a really like really interesting cover and stuff and um that would be something i would be willing to kickstart but i always wanted to do something animated for it i, I i've been seeing it in my head for years now just like with legend but this is it was the choice between that and legend when it four years ago that i was gonna start oh, wow. but because i had just finished the third book i'm like you know what let me do with it what i can because i i self-published it and i was selling my own copies at uh, expos and stuff like that but when they're finally like coming short to like their quantity let me see if i can like jumpstart the project again and bring it to a larger number by kickstarting it but yeah. And then in the and then I got like pissed off that Vegeta was being like duped by the Guardians of the Galaxy. So like I um I switched <laughs> gears and I put that in the like, in the the back burner. But um that's gonna be my 2024 plan. If nothing, sorry, 23 plan this coming okay. year. Uh, I want to make a uh, a proof of concept for that as a promo for bringing the book to a hardbound Kickstarter. And uh, I think it'll look freaking badass, dude. <laughs> so yeah. I want I want this book to be in more people's hands, and if I can like tell you guys a little bit about it, like without wrecking it, it's um it's kind of like a fairy tale for adults, and uh, it deals with like war and like transcending lifetimes and stuff. Uh, but it's mostly about like history's biggest misconception about a hero. They all think this person is a hero, and if you read the story, you realize like. Uh, he was he wasn't even here or even qualified to be one and he became one anyway so uh mm. it's a pretty simple story that goes across three books i snuck a bunch of my friends in there myself in there like i was young you know like i wanted to yeah adventure in my own manga very one piece ish but like um but yeah that was it was a good time so like i want to i want to bring that back just for the case of bringing it to more people damn look at that we got more exclusives guys look at that look at that <laughs> That's awesome. So, so obviously, you know, you have free reign to just be like, "Hey, we're trying to promote this, send it our way. We got you. All right." I'll be like, oh, "Hey, yo, guys, it. get on it. Appreciate read it. it. <laughs> read the read this. Watch it. I'm looking forward to it. Any any kind of like you know updates on there? Feel free. Let us know because we're always thank down you, yeah. to support. You know. Um, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, so yeah, like that's that's exciting i'm looking forward to seeing that because um i didn't finish reading them but i started to and even within the first like few pages i was like nasir is oh my god <laughs> <laughs> he's he's so good so like i mean what i can say about like I'm, I'm still happy with the writing i i sometimes like i look back at those drawings like oh god i wish i could just read throughout the first two like maybe the first <laughs> book but that's how any artist feels you know right like, people yeah, probably listen sure. to the music like oh it's music yeah. nine years ago but other people are like man this is amazing um but yeah but i i won't look back if i'm happy with the writing i think i did my job you know? yeah all right well well yeah i mean that's always that's 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 how it goes like I, that's like me with if i were to go back and watch any videos that i made like you know yeah. years back you know i'll be like oh my god have you ever watched all, any of our old reactions mm, not really right i implore <laughs> you to do so 
and just like it's just so funny like just to see like where we came from and how i used to edit then versus now and even now like just like you know in relation to your art like you're always learning right you're you, there's never a point where you're not like you know learning a new trick or a new style right that's how it is with editing i told kai the other day i'm like dude i literally could have been exporting videos so much differently and now i realized that for years i've been i could i could have saved so much time and yeah. it is what it is right it's it's gone gone yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. to the wind it's it's, it's out of here <laughs> so. i saw your some of your old reactions uh it was funny like because like you guys look like cosplayers of yourself <laughs> you know like you were half your weight brandon looks different Kai looking fresh with earrings and shit. Like, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, no. That's that's basically what it is. But yeah, we can't. We we've come a long way, but we're still we're still out here too, man. So we're trying. But yeah, no, we just hit a thousand subscribers on uh, yeah, on that. YouTube. All right, you know that that's still that's still on the up. You know, Geekdom made the joke saying like, "Oh, let me unsub so you guys have nine ninety fucking nine. <laughs> right? I'm like this guy, man. <laughs> By the way, we are going to have him on soon for our, our live celebration episode, which we're going to be talking about like the the chapter once it's out um, in full, do like a whole like episode on that. So hopefully I know you, you're going to be a bit, you're a busy man. So if you're, you're if you're in the chat, we'd love to see, see, see you say what's up uh, once yeah. we're live at that point. Um, and that'll be on Tuesday. So. Oh, that's that good shit.